Hi, my name is Nigel D. Salmon. Welcome to Jamaican Chapter. In this chapter, we'll be looking at the death of Alexander Bustamante, former Prime Minister of Jamaica. We will be looking specifically at what the causes of his death. Okay, so here we are looking at the death registration form for Alexander Bustamante to see the causes of his death. As we know, Alexander Bustamante was the first Prime Minister of Jamaica of independent Jamaica, um, same thing. Um, he he is the founder of Jamaica Labour Party, which is one of the two main political parties in Jamaica. And he is known for so many other things. Um, his, his name is on trade unions, uh, his name is on roads, um, hospitals. But for, for many persons, Bustamante is remembered as the first Prime Minister of Jamaica and the founder of Jamaica Labour Party. In this video, we'll dive into what causes his death in 1977. We'll start with under a death registration form by looking at the top of the form. Here at the top of the form it says death registration form. Death in the district of Garden Town, parish of St. Andrew. Um, we look at the side here it's a place of death we already mentioned that usual residence of disease same place garden town saint andrew we're gonna start by looking at the the left side of the the, the, the farm and the left side of the farm it, it says particles no particulars of deceased date of death the 6th of august 1977 and this this is a very important date is a very important date in jamaica the 6th of august is called Independence Day and we know that Alexander Bustamante played a big role in the independence of Jamaica he flew out he and Norman separately and they met overseas where they negotiate the independence of the country so the 6th of August which is an which is a holiday in Jamaica he died on that date in 1977, as seen here. So, date of death, 6th of August, 1977. Full name, William Alexander Bustamante. For, for many persons, we just call him Alexander Bustamante. But the full name is William Alexander Bustamante. Um, this was not his name at birth. When, when, when he was born in 1884, um, his name was actually William Alexander Clark. Uh, his mother was Mary Wilson and Robert Constine, Constantine Clark. So, it was in 1944 
that he officially changed his name to Bustamante. And he he told people that the reason why he, he took on the name Bustamante was because he of the uh, the goodwill of a man who he grew up he went to Spain he went to Spain at a very young age and he went to school in Spain with under the care of a man and I don't remember if this the name of the man is Bustamante but he stayed with him and he changed it to Bustamante so it was not necessarily a disrespect to his biological father for him to drop the name Clark because if you he's born he's given the name William Alexander Clark and then in 1944 he dropped the name Clark and took took on Bustamante but I don't think he did that out of disrespect for his biological father Based upon records, he and his father had a good relationship. His father died when he was very young. And he was, you know, and so on. So I won't go into that. He's described as male, which is which is what he was. Um, condition, married. Yes, so he got married to Gladys Longbridge. And so, yes, he would be described as married here. Um... Bustamante did not have children. He did not have children. Um, before he married to Gladys Longbridge, he, he was married before. His marriage to Gladys was not his first marriage. He was first married in 1910. And I'm going to do a video on that. So I don't want to talk much about his first marriage. So I'll do a video on that. But during his first marriage, his second marriage, his single years, he did not have any children. And let's move on. So the death registration form says here that he was 93 years old. And we all know that. It's all over the internet. 93 years old at the time of his death. Down here it says, Occupation and Calling, Former Prime Minister. Okay, so, on the death registration form, his occupation is listed as Former Prime Minister. Which I think is perfect. It's perfect. But, remember that he was not, before he was Prime Minister... He had done several jobs. In 1905, when he started his working life, um, and because he didn't want to work um, much on his, on his uh, plantation and so on. So in 1905, he left Jamaica and he worked in Panama as a traffic inspector and also in Cuba as a policeman. And along the line, he also worked as a commercial traveler. And so between 1905 and 1934, he was working outside of Jamaica. But he did visit back Jamaica during that period. But between 1905 and 1934, that's 29 years he has been working outside of Jamaica, just making small visits back to the island. And he worked in Panama and he worked in Cuba. When he came back to Jamaica in 1934 and saw the conditions of the people, the country, he got involved in politics. He got involved in representation of persons who wanted better working conditions. And... From 1934 upward, he got involved in politics, and that would took him to this that 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 took him to the stage of being prime minister. At the bottom of the farm here, it says, "Birthplace Hanover." So that's true. He was born in a place called Blenheim, Hanover. His mother's name was Mary Wilson. 
and his father's name was Robert Constantine Clark. All right, so let's move over now to the, the right side of the death registration form. And on this side, the right side of the form, is where you're going to find the causes of death, which is really the purpose of this video. So over here, we're looking at the right side of the death registration form, and it says, cause, cause of death, one, immediate, immediate cause, bilateral Bronco pneumonia, and if you look under the bottom, there is say eight days. So he would have this pneumonia for eight days. So what is bilateral bronco pneumonia? Bronco pneumonia is a form of pneumonia that affects both the alveoli in the lungs and the bronchi. Symptoms of bronchopneumonia can range from mild to severe. I believe in the former Prime Minister's case, it was severe. Symptoms include fatigue, cough, nausea, vomiting, fever, and sweating. All right, so so that's bronchopneumonia. The second, and and if you look at it, say bronchopneumonia, cause of death, bronchopneumonia, and then it said due to, and you take it to the second thing, which is chronic hyalonephritis. So the second cause is. Chronic hyalonephritis. What is that? Hyalonephritis is just a medical term for kidney infection. That's what is it? Kidney infection. The third cause is, and that's C, the third cause is benign prostatic hypertrophy. What's that? Benign prostatic hypertrophy, also called benign prostatic hyperplasia, is a health condition that is more common among older men. It is generally called an enlarged prostate. An enlarged prostate. Symptoms include frequent urination and inability to delay urination. Let's move on to the, the last cause, and it is described as contributory, so it contributes to his death. The last one is old cerebral vascular accident okay so what is that what is old cerebral vascular accident cerebral vascular accident is the medical term for stroke okay so he had a stroke and and this is this is what m you would see um many people would know this the, the the part with the stroke um this 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 is even mentioned in his in 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 many many <clears throat> many well documented articles on his life would say that he had a stroke and uh, um and we can see that even in some of the videos because his health condition deteriorated in 1967. Um, I think that's the time when he had the stroke. That's the time when he had the stroke. And 
you you can see even in 1969 when he was in the ceremony which he was receiving when he was being called national hero what to call it order of national hero but he was being named national hero you could see that he could not move part of his body um, because he had really suffered the stroke so when his condition deteriorated in 1967, um, which is the time I think he had the stroke, um, Donald Sangster took over as prime minister. And his prime ministership would last um, a very short time, just weeks, because he, he himself died. I don't want to talk much about his death because I might have to do a video like this for Donald Sangster. Um, and then after Donald Sangster died, um, Hugh Shearer took over. And even though Alexander Bustamante had a stroke, he was able to play a vital role, a very important role, in in the in, 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 in the country because when Donald Sangster took over Donald Sangster went to Alexander Bustamante to get advice on many things because remember Bustamante even though he was not as mobile as before he he he, he, he this was an old man with wisdom with a lot of understanding on how things work. So, Donald Sangster, when he became a prime minister, would go to um, Alexander and say, you know, what do we do about this? What do we do about that? And when Donald Sangster died overseas, um, and Hugh Shearer took over, Hugh Shearer was very close to Donald, to Alexander Bustamante. He was very close. And also, so was... Um, Edward Siaga, who would later become Prime Minister. Um, but Hugh Shearer was also close. And Hugh Shearer would go to Alexander Bustamante to ask him advice on what to do with this, what to do about that. So even in his time of stroke, his, his illness, Alexander Bustamante was very much respected in the Jamaica Labour Party and gave a lot of advice, you know, as an old wise man. So let's take a let's take a brief look again at the, the, the right side of the debt registration form and we look at the causes of death for the former Prime Minister. So causes of death. 1. A. Bilateral bronchopneumonia. Some persons would just say pneumonia. Second cause is chronic hyalonephritis, which is just a medical term for kidney infection. The third cause is benign prostatic hypertrophy. In simple terms, enlarged prostate. And the fourth, which everybody know of, is old cerebrovascular accident, which is we all know as stroke. The most obvious one that he had. And that's the that's the, the, the video on the causes of death for the former Prime Minister of Jamaica, Alexander Bustamante. Um, I'll be doing more videos on famous people. I'll be doing a video on Norman Manley and his causes of death. I'll be doing a video on Bustamante. No, we are, I'm doing Bustamante now. So I'll be doing Norman Manley causes of death. I'll be doing Edna Manley causes of death. I'll be doing some other famous persons like Delroy Wilson, Panhead, 
um Marcus Garvey we'll be, I'll be doing a lot of videos looking at the causes of death for these people so thanks for watching subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be aware of the next video I'm uploading